if y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. <clears throat> you dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, first of all, y'all, it's a lot, and I mean a lot going on right now. So, let's just get into this. Before we even go any further, this is Eight Minutes with Neek. What the goddamn hell yeah. So, Chris Breezy, for Sheezy. Hold on. <laughs> Of course, my camera want to fall in this moment. Chris, <laughs> Chris Breezy, Fushizi, woke up this morning and chose violence. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know specifically from start to finish why he went off, but we're going we gonna to go ahead and look right now. So I got to go down to the original post because when I woke up, this is what I seen. He was going off on uh, Keely Williams. Uh, it was a reaction to his new song or whatever. And basically she said, um, let him come out with his own record. So genius, so captivating that it makes us all forget. He beats women. He can't, so, he can't, so he won't. So what does he do? Whatever that means. So, uh, Chris Brown was absolutely sick of it. He said, I'm getting tired of, uh, your broken promethith, your broken prom promethith. Okay, uh, he was going at her about her gap. I'm hoping I'm starting this right at the beginning. But anyway, so after that, he just literally started trolling her the rest of the way. Now, um, I don't blame him for trolling her because it's like my nigga. I mean, why you come for me in the first place? It's given she felt some type of way because, you know, she don't have a number one song out, whatever. I just want to put it out there. Chris Brown is the GOAT. <laughs> It's nothing y'all can do to stop that. So anyway, uh, he was tired of her. He told her to stop it. You stop it. Sorry if I'm spitting on the camera, but it take a whole lot of to stop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a whole lot of to stop, okay? He told her to stop it. Um, and you know, he was going on about his day, but after that, it just he just went off. And I don't blame him. He's sick of this narrative of him. Um being an abuser to women. Mind y'all, the man been winning forever. He just been winning forever. But anyway, he says, if y'all still hate me for a mistake I made as a 17-year-old, please kiss my whole entire ass. Hello? I'm effing 33. I'm so tired of y'all running with this narrative, y'all. You weird-ass niggas are the same ones that tune in every week to see Blueface and Krishan beat the F out of each other, which is true, in front of the world. But that's okay. It's entertainment. All y'all can suck my meet disrespectfully now i just want i would like to go to um blueface's response because you know what? i could just go to his instagram but blueface felt as though uh chris brown threw him up under the bus because he basically was saying brian even got nothing to do with it but i will say blueface missed the entire point uh so let's just get into it this is blueface's uh, response beat the yaki what's happening uh, look check it out I understand the frustration, fool. You know, for me being in the situation, I'm not even gonna trip on you because the message you trying to send is way off. I get it, you know. Bitch hit me. It's funny. I hit her back. It's fuck me face. So I totally get it. Cause that that'll be the most irritating thing ever. But you gotta play the cards that you was dealt. <clears throat> you want some. But they did it too. Why aren't you guys telling them anything? Type now, in his defense, I completely understand why he's saying that. It's like, Chris, Chris, <laughs> what I do to you? I don't have anything. I, I don't have nothing to do with this. So it's almost like, why would you, why are you throwing me up under the bus? Because you already up under the bus. It's like misery loves company. It's like Chris Brown wanted some help in that situation. It's like, bro, life don't work like that, man. You know, if we all go do a crime together. We're not all gonna get the same time together, you hear me? You might get the most amount of time. We might not all say nothing, but we all went and did the crime, so we gotta take the time, you hear me? You want some, 
you guys are gonna give me the most time, but they did it too. Like judge, sentence them. Yeah, like, we ain't got nothing to do with that, bro. I mean, like, handle your candle, deal with your situation, how you deal with it. Only thing I disagree with is you Answer. posting all these random white people and and me and the bitch and trying to like distract from your thing. You feel me? Krishan, shut up! Good guy, me and the bitch. He ain't even say Krishan. He said me and the bitch. I don't know if he was talking about the thop it bitch, but come on. Maybe. Let him talk. You gotta stand on it, Carol. Like if you beat the bitch up, shit, you beat the bitch up. Like, <laughs> oh God! Like you scared right, to like? <laughs> yeah, like I get it. You on some R and B? Yeah, dumbass back there laughing and be getting beat up. I will say though, in Blueface's defense, girl, she did y'all see her lift the same amount almost that Blueface lift? <laughs> in his defense, he ain't got no choice. I mean, it's not like she lightly taps him or lightly slaps him, girl. She's be stealing off on that nigga. So I, I completely get it. I, I feel like Rihanna did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? A long time ago. But ultimately, you know, I just, I've always been one of them fair people. If you put your hands on me, I'm going to have to be jazzed. I don't give a damn who is who. You know what I'm saying? Or if I put your hand, if I put my hands on you, you absolutely going to have to do the same. Ultimately, people got to defend their own self. Okay? So that's all I got to say about that. You don't want to be seen as r and beat, but I don't got it. You beat the Yaki, you got to, hey. I beat my bitch up, man. I, I ain't finna come on here and be like, well, Chris Brown did it 16 years ago, and and you guys let him still, like, perform at the BET Awards, and uh, I'ma sound like a, like a square, guy. Okay? That's what I'ma sound like. And my last opinion is, Kyle, you beat up the wrong bitch. Yeah. You got, <laughs> you got a bad job. Wow. Why would Krishan think that's funny, y'all? Why would she laugh at that? He basically saying, you beat up Rihanna. I just beat up Krishan. Like, Dumbass. Like, you feel me? We didn't all get the same judge. Kevin God, I got a bitch. You feel me? She going to fight back, so I'm going to get less time. You hear me? You beat, you beat up a, <laughs> yeah, you beat up the wrong bitch. You beat up the bitch that just performed at the Super Bowl, nigga. Like, yeah, like, I'm sorry, fool. Like, you should have got you a little ghetto bitch or something that you could fight with. That's what I did. I could have had plenty of famous bitches. I decided to go to, feel me? My natural element on that underground, you feel me? My natural element on God underground. Beat the yaki. <laughs> Moral of the story: Watch, you can't be watch what bitch you beat up. That's crazy. The truth could never be. Uh, the truth could never be a diss. I f with Chris Brown, met cause he's just as player as me. It's all love, but I got hit with a stray this morning. <laughs> Listen, I I can't say I disagree with Blueface. Chris Brown kind of had to, not had to, he kind of got to take this one on the chin by himself. But he did not finish. So he started putting out all the celebrities that's out here whooping women's asses. Sean Penn was arrested, arrested for domestic violence or domestic assault of then wife Madonna. Penn also served 33 days in prison for an incident in which he punched a photographer just out here beating people up. Oh, damn, Mel Gibson. Pleaded no contest in a battery charge regarding his then wife, Oak Okasana, blah, 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 blah. Gibson was also arrested in 2006 for drunk driving. The charge was associated with Gibson's now infamous anti Semitic tirade. Tyrant, how have you said it? Nicholas Cage was arrested for domestic battery and disturbing the peace. I believe that. Cage reportedly pushed his wife outside of a tattoo shop and punched some cars and shit. See, Chris, he was trying not to punch her in the face, so instead he pushed her. Ozzy Osbourne was arrested uh, for domestic violence in 1989, Chris. Uh, the Black Sabbath frontman has also been arrested for breaking and entering in a public urination. 
Jesus Christ. Rocker Tommy Lee was arrested for domestic violence in 1994, 1998. Lee has been arrested several times for offenses like incident ex exposure, disturbing the peace, and inciting riots. Ooh, Slash. I mean, come on. I know he's done despicable things. Charlie Sheen. We do not have to read his shit. Steven Seagal. <laughs> Ex-wife Kelly LeBrock. LeBrock has made claims that Seagal was abusive throughout their marriage. Hmm. Emma. Roberts was arrested for domestic violence for beating up her boyfriend. Evan Peters in Canada, the couple both starred in American Horror Story. Mm, damn, Carmen Electra. She abused Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Christian Slater was arrested for domestic violence. Josh Brolin. Tom Sizemore. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying these people's name right. Vince Neal. Something. Oh, he had a lot of time today. Oh, yeah, that was recent. And I wouldn't be surprised by Dana White. I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. Hello? And also, <laughs> if you stay down here and you never fuck around, you'll never find out. Hello? <laughs> oh, but Keely hates domestic violence, huh? This be all of y'all fake advocate ass... Shit, doing the expo, doing the explore, doing the exploratory dive into Blueface and Krishan because I need to see some mess that's not mine. Clips and YouTube recommendations, welcome. Dude. Cheetah Girls. Oh my God. Oh, that time Chris Brown and Cheetah Girls were on the sweet. Life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, nah, we ain't doing that. Chris, uh, okay, in her defense, Chris, she was acting. They told her to do that. Okay, well, Chris Brown reposted Blueface, so they ain't got no problem. Listen, y'all, I just feel as though that this is a hot ass mess all together, to be quite frank with you. I just feel as though, um,. Yeah, people should probably just mind the business that pays them and stop all that other shit. All right. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Uh, Yeah. Good day. Bye.